No Makeup Makeup is one of the looks that I'm asked to recreate most in my work. And it's basically lots of clever techniques to make you look like the best possible version of yourself without looking like you're wearing any makeup. This video is part of my classic series and I'm going to show you how to get the look really quickly to give you that fresh, luminous, amazing looking skin. First thing I'm going to do is start off with clean skin and use a kind of strawberry coloured liquid blush straight onto the skin. So you just find the apples of the cheeks and blend it in with your fingertip. And when you're putting it straight onto bare skin, it can look a little bit strong. But you're going to put makeup over the top so it'll soften the whole effect and look much more natural than most blushes. Now I'm taking a BB cream. Um, choose one that has a really illuminating finish and just apply it like you would a moisturizer. This is going to give you enough coverage to give a really beautiful natural glow and to not look like makeup and then if there are any other areas where you need a little bit more coverage then you can use a foundation. And now I'm going to go back in with quite a pigmented foundation, just any areas where you need that little bit of extra coverage. So let's go under the eyes, just pat it in with a fingertip. The whole point of no makeup makeup is that you're not meant to look like you're wearing any makeup. So I'm going to avoid concealer. Um, just use a rich foundation only in the areas where you need it rather than using a full coverage concealer because then you will start to look like you're wearing makeup. So I'm just doing around the sides of the nose that can be a little bit more red, inner corners of the eyes, and then anywhere that there's just a little bit of redness, so I'm just going to go along the jawline. Next up is illuminator. I'm using a liquid illuminator with a kind of pearlized finish. I'm just going to use it strategically so the whole look isn't too shiny by taking it across the top of the cheekbone and up underneath the edge of the brow. If you kind of just pat it into the skin, you get this really nice soft candlelit glow. A little bit down the centre of the nose kind of just ties the whole look together. Now I'm going to use an eye primer. And an eye primer is great for taking away any discoloration on the eyes that can make you look tired, any sort of red blood vessels. And if you go for one that is the same colour as your skin, or maybe a couple of shades darker, it won't look like eyeshadow, but it will just look very polished. I only put powder where it's needed, and this one is completely translucent. So I'm just kind of putting it over the T-zone. I don't want to get rid of any of this amazing shine that's on the sides of the face. So just keep it down the centre of the face where shine can start to look a bit sweaty. Just do what you need to do to make the eyebrows look like they're a better shape without making them look too made up. So if you just comb through them, I'm taking uh, a brown eyebrow powder, or you could use an eyeshadow that sort of matches the colour of your hair, and just take a slanted brush and go in anywhere where there are gaps. So this is not about creating an amazing looking shaped eyebrow, it's more about making your brows look a bit more polished. Now I'm going to do what is kind of like an invisible eyeliner. So I'm taking a black gel eyeliner and you just need to pop it underneath the upper lashes. And what that does is it makes the eyes look brighter, the eyes look bigger, the whites of your eyes looking more white. But it doesn't actually look like eyeliner. Now I'm using a bronzing powder really subtly. So it's going to go around the temples, across the top of the cheekbones, a little bit across the nose, just where the, just where the sun would sort of 
naturally hit your skin most. So you're still not looking like you're wearing makeup, but you are starting to look really healthy and radiant, kind of like better version of yourself. So now I'm going to use black mascara. I'm going to avoid the bottom lashes, unless you had blonde lashes, and then you might want to do the bottom as well. But just doing the top lashes if your lashes are already dark. Um, and what you're going to do is just touch the brush to the base of the lashes without combing it through too much. This gives you that kind of eye-opening effect that you usually get from mascara. But it's not giving the obvious mascara effect that you get when you comb it all the way through. So you're just going to press it to the lash line and just give it a little wiggle. I'm going back with the same liquid cheek tint and using it onto the lips, which gives a completely, totally natural looking kind of flush to the lips and it also stains them so it kind of leaves that colour for most of the day. The last little touch is to use Vaseline or a lip balm and it's a really nice kind of um, fresh, youthful, almost kind of sporty look to use a little bit on the eyelid. Just a really, really tiny bit. and then finish it off over the top of the lip stain.